Hello everybody, this is Wow Man with my first video with recording audio as I give you a tour of my park. I am making Star Wars Land and I actually started this project um, when the before the map size was um, able to be larger. So this is actually being created in the original release smaller map size. I already had way too much work done to uh, try to make it bigger, so I decided to just continue on with this size. But first I'm going to give you a tour of what the plan is. And there's some random things placed in the park right now. That was just to draw guests in, but I'm going to have the Main Street area, which is right around here, and that's uh, designed off of the the dark and dingy streets of Cor the planet Coruscant. And in the middle, I have my icon, which is the Jedi Temple Tower. And there's actually a roller coaster inside that temple. And the lands that I'll be building around, starting over here, this center area here, which is already underway, will be the swamps of Yoda's home planet, Dagobah. Over here, we're going to have the forest moon of Endor, which will have a couple um, thrill rides and roller coasters in it as well. As we move to this back corner of the park, this general section will be the planet Hoth, ice planet Hoth. And I'm building this in the um, non-snow biome biodome, or whatever, whatever they're called, sorry. But um, I'm going to try to fake snow as much as I can. The center area around this lake and behind this lake will be um, Princess Amidala's home planet of Naboo. And back in this corner, and this entire area here will be mostly desert planets. So it will be the planet of Tatooine, and Jakku. Um, it will have a roller coaster, it will have a dark ride, as well as many places to eat and drink. And then in the center section here will be um, hopefully a Death Star type attraction. Um, I'm hoping to do some kind of roller coasters shooting through in and around a Death Star. And in this corner, I was originally going to do the Volcano Planet, but um, struggling with how I'm going to make that actually look. So I might actually use the Tropical Planet from the most recent Rogue One movie, um, mainly because it just may be easier for me to, to do. But that's the overall plan. It may change as I start to get more involved with this, but let's look at the parts that are done right now. Main Street Coruscant is a, a very high-tech um, area, and I, I wanted to make the street wide in some areas, narrow in other areas, and I think I accomplished that, again, just to try to break up the sight lines, but I really do kind of like the way the street looks with the Jedi Tower in the background. And uh, over here, we have a monorail station that will take you from the main street area out and around to the other areas of the park. Generally, the street has maybe 10 or 15 different food, drink, or gift shops. There are a couple restroom areas, as well as an ATM. And you can see some of the shops are built further back in to give more uh, room for them and just to get to give some depth to the street. I liked I liked uh, putting all these wires all over the place and pipes and so on. Um, at night it is very neon looking as you can see many of the lights. There's lots of sparks and electricity shooting out. I also have a couple. Um, you can see right here there's a battle going on between a couple 
people right here and here shooting at each other across the street here. I hit play so that you could see them going at it. And uh, so, oh, that's right. There's a third guy up here in the roof getting in on the action as well. You could see that um, there's some power type buildings down here at this end of the street. And eventually you get to come and see the great view of looking up at the Jedi Tower. I did build this tower by scratch, piece by piece. I believe it has about 6,000 pieces in it total because I had to, uh, I built this actually during the alpha stage to test building um, buildings. And there's probably some better pieces that are available now that I could use, but I just wasn't really up to trying to rebuild this from scratch again. Here's a great view I like from this park is, is looking this way up from the tower down at the, the street of streets of Coruscant, especially at night. Let's change it to the night view real quick. And you can see what that looks like. And uh, I just love that view. It's just very, very cool to me. Um, so one of the other things I wanted to point out in uh, this area was that there's a couple cut throughs so you can see back from this area there's a walkway that goes into the building and eventually goes up a staircase it's all themed and de decorated inside and it comes to this bridge right here that eventually leads to the other side of the street and as you can see, there's an alleyway here that cuts through. And um, ultimately, this will go into the Dagobah area. But I will cover that later on in a different video. But for right now, I just wanted to show you kind of a general overview of the park and how it was looking and some of the detail that I put in. Oh, let me show you this real quick. Kind of like this little modern water feature that I put in. It's like a fountain that is exploding with water. Ah, sorry about that. Um, it's kind of a cool feature that I made. I will put some of this stuff out on the um, blueprints for other people to share once I figure out how to best break this up into individual buildings because right now Many parts of the street are one huge building, um, all connected with different facades. And it might be a little difficult trying to, to put that on there. But I'll, I'll put the fountain out there. Um, I already had the Jedi Tower out there, but it was um, before the live release. So I do have to repost those. It, it's in about 10 pieces, and you have to reassemble it. Not the easiest assembly to do in the world but um you know i it, it can be done this here is assembled from the blueprint pieces and uh you know it worked pretty well just one last thing i'll show you here is this is the entrance to the roller coaster that's inside the temple called x-wing trainer and um under the queue it passes under one of the x-wings uh, I did get that X-Wing from the um, Community Blueprints. Sorry, I don't re recall who I, um, you know, who made that. Otherwise, I'd give you credit, but I, I don't recall offhand who it was. But um, as you can see, it's, that's my main street area. And uh, I think that's about all we'll cover today. Let me know what you think about this. Let me, you know, be, be kind to me. I, I haven't ever recorded anything like this before, so um, hopefully it turns out okay. And uh, check in and uh, see the progress on this park as I uh, make, make it. And that's it. Thanks, everybody.